Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we got from Monster Hunter Rise on the Nintendo Switch. And that's the fact that the official Monster Hunter Rise Twitter account in both North America and Japan have gone ahead and confirmed that basically we're going to be getting something a little bit different when it comes to the DLC for December. Just a few days ago, I actually covered that back in November, they let us know that basically there's going to be a rock remix of one of the songs that's available in the game that's actually called Breath of Fire Rock Remix. This is essentially, I believe it to be, the Ibushi themed, but they're basically going to be reworking it with lyrics and they're going to be allowing it to become available into the game as downloadable, purchasable DLC. But we didn't necessarily know as to basically if it was going to be like normal DLC or anything along those lines. I just covered just recently as well that they're going to be making like actual CDs available in Japan and they're going to be selling those in stores. You're going to be able to purchase that, I believe, from iTunes and stuff like that. So pretty much the entire works as you would have typically expect when it comes to music for games. Well, just a few days ago, or I believe just yesterday, they basically went ahead and confirmed that they're also going to be doing a remix that is called Lady Lightning Rock Remix, and this would actually be the Narwa theme. So they're doing both Ibushi and the Narwa song as like rock remixes. Different songs, different vocalists, entire different tunes, and they're basically going to be their very own thing. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to be actually replaying any of the songs here because they're going to get copyrighted. So I don't necessarily need that on my channel, but I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So where you're actually seeing the little bit of like trailers that they did for the songs themselves, presumably, I'm guessing they're going to maybe put up the full versions on YouTube eventually. But I'm going to leave a link in the description below for just a little bit of a teaser that they put up on their a YouTube channel as well. So I'm going to link that as well if you want to check out what they actually sound like, which is pretty interesting to say the least. I don't necessarily think Capcom has done anything like this in the past where they're basically reworking songs and actually like adding actual musicians and like singers and vocalists into one of the songs from the game. Remember that when I was covering developer interviews when Monster Hunter Rise came out, one of the things that they specifically spoke about when it comes to monster songs from like previous games, uh, when they reworked them for Monster Hunter Rise, one of the things that they wanted to do was to add lyrics to them. So it doesn't surprise me that now they're basically doing different versions of newer songs for some of the newer monsters. Presumably going into some break, we should see even more of this come forward. Now, what does that actually mean in in-game experiences? Well, presumably, we already know that uh, basically a few months back, they were releasing uh, music packs, right? And one of those big bundles for DLC, I believe 2.0, 3.0, and like 3.2 had like music bundles and stuff. Uh, so pretty much expect to see uh, maybe a couple of songs for like three bucks, four bucks, something along those lines that you can presumably play when you're in town. You know, that's kind of like the stuff that you're expecting to see uh, as this downloadable DLC becomes available. What other songs are they going to do in the future or anything along those lines? They haven't necessarily confirmed. But if we're putting two and two together, if they're doing Ibushi and they're doing Narwa, probably expect the theme for All Mother Narwa to also get some type of remix before this does drop. In one of the videos, they also showcase a date, uh, December 20th. Now, that doesn't necessarily make it clear if that's actually just for like, you know, iTunes release or like the actual physical disc or anything along those lines. Or that's when it's actually going to become available in the game. So once we can confirm that uh, basically in about three weeks or so that becomes available, I'll definitely be covering it as then because obviously it will be important because presumably that's not going to be the only DLC that's going to become available then. Uh, it does make me wonder if we're actually going to get any sort of collaboration for December because they haven't necessarily announced one as of yet. So I'm just wondering if this is all we're going to get or we're going to presumably get something different. But like I mentioned just a few days ago, the Game Awards is about to happen soon. So expect to see some information revealed then uh, as to what we can expect to see. Maybe not just for December, but obviously for Sunbreak as well. But that's about all the information that I have for you guys today. I just thought it was relevant to go over because DLC for December is basically a question mark as of right now. But at the very least, we now know two things that are going to be available for December. 
If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.